lovely. So I got to get a quick peek then, um, and I've been dying to share more. And that's kind of where the creative juices for me started going with like, okay, I would wear this gown in this destination. So I picked a couple of my favorites from the collection, um, and I'm just gonna get it, give it a go. So the first one up was from the Inez de Santo Couture, and that's Napita. And the reason why I loved Napita was because of her like elegant, sleek, kind of silky silhouette and this like stunning racer back bejeweled, uh, you know, uh, embellished back. And I just thought, oh my God, this is a dress for, for someone who wants to make such an impression yet like actually be able to travel because it wouldn't take a ton of space getting to wherever you're having your wedding. So tell me a little bit about the um, inspiration behind Nipita. I think Nipita is truly, truly Inez de Santo in that it is part of her DNA. When I asked her, you know, what were you thinking about when you came up with this gown? And like you said, it was sleek. It's modern, yet it's classic. It's elegant, polished, high collar. And what she had said was, I, I feel that my European heritage and growing up um, in Europe and seeing that architecture is something that she had in mind. And she also made me something like this 13 years ago. And she reminded me and said, oh don't remember, this was something that I did for you. And I said, yes, you're absolutely right. So it's truly part of Inez's DNA to come up with something that's polished, it's elegant, it's classic, it's timeless. So you'll never look back at your, your photos and say, why did I pick that? And trying to pick a perfect setting, like you said, for this is, is a lot of fun. You can do so much with it. Exactly. Well, I love that you're part of that inspiration for this gown. It makes me love Napita even more. Um, and I'm wondering if you're going to be so brave to share with us a picture of that, of you rocking the, the similar gown 13 years ago. I would love to see that and share it with our viewers. But um, yeah, for me, I just felt like, wow, this gown, it's, it's sparkling and amazing. So I instantly thought it would be phenomenal in a really elegant sunset destination. So my thoughts were kind of like the Amalfi Coast and um, there's this amazing villa called Villa San Giacomo that is like terracotta, it's right on the cliff. So it's phenomenal for a sunset. Or another property, Castello Giusto, also terracotta, not too far down the road in um, Sorrento, or right in the Sorrento area. And both are waterfront, phenomenal for sunsets. And I just imagined how the back with the bejeweled racer back would glisten at sunset. So I thought of those two locations for the gown. So should we uh, check out a next and the next pieces? Can I stop you just there for a second because I think that your creative juices are flowing and I think it's so funny that you actually said that about sunset um, and, the, and the sparkle and the twinkle because of the, the bejeweled back. We actually did a photo shoot with Napita and the first shot that we took was at like 5.40 a.m. when the sun was coming up, clearly not... Oh we're talking about but we wanted to capture that light because the satin back crepe gives off that sheen so when you said that I just thought are you in my head are you seeing what I'm that's exactly what we did exactly well I you know when you said that Inez was also inspired by her European roots and growing up in Europe I was like yes I picked the right destinations <laughs> for this so, uh, just for the viewers Veron just so the viewers know Veronica and I did not like coordinate on which destinations to focus on. So, um, you know, this is this is fun that it was a win for me. Yeah. So um, 